Hi, I'm Mary from Reviewer's Diary. Welcome back to my channel. I have today my 13 by Halloween update. Now, you know, it wasn't just 13 products. It was actually more than that. So I'm going to start first at the top of the list with this Lancome cleanser. I thought it was gone and I held it up to the light and there's still a tiny bit left right by the cap. So I think I'm going to do that trick where you cut the tube so you can get the rest of the stuff out. Either that or I'll just call it a day because I have a ton of cleansers, but um, I kind of liked this. Since I'm never buying it again, I would like to use it up. So we'll wait and see. The next thing I have shown massive progress on is this toner. Um, it's really hard to see the mark here because I actually managed to get it right on the line of the fluid. So if you tip it back, you can see. This is where I started. This was update number one, update number two, and this is now. This, I think, is going to probably be gone in just a couple weeks um, because now I'm down at the narrower end of the bottle, which is not going to take as long as this larger part of the bottle. So I think I'm going to be done with this pretty soon, which actually is not a bad thing because it's kind of drying. So not crazy about it. So, I also had this Lancome sunblock. Now, this is um, actually made for your face. I've been using it on my neck and on my decollete area and a little bit on my arms. Um, I noticed that when I do everything to my hands that I do to my face, um, so I noticed that my hands were like nice and obviously had sunblock because they were paler than my arms. And so I started to use this a little bit on my arms because I have lots and lots of sunblock that is going to be outdated in October. And so this, I have made pretty good progress. Um, this is where I started. I don't know why there are only three lines there, but I guess I didn't have much progress in the last one. I'll have to look back. And this is where I am today. And I actually made like pretty good progress over the last couple weeks. So this will definitely be gone by Halloween because now it's down, it was all the way up to there and now it's down to here. So if it only took me a few weeks to get from there to there, then it should only take me the rest of the month of September and a little bit of October to finish this up. Another thing that I have was the CeraVe skin cream. Now this has um, SPF in it and it also expires in October. So all of a sudden I was like, oh my god, I gotta use it up. So anyway, um, <laughs> I added this in and this that I already had was relegated to my neck and my decollete and my arms. And this one, CeraVe, I love it so much. I don't know. I can't believe I let it sit in my cabinet, probably because I have so much stuff. But anyway, that's what these project pans are going to correct. So I have made a tiny bit of progress. This stuff seems to last forever. So this is where I was and this is where I am now. So I would like to say that I'm going to be able to use this up by the deadline, but I'm not sure. I'm trying really hard. Next thing was this Pure Lease, and I can't really see well through the tube, but I did make a little bit more progress. This is where I started. This was where I was at the last update, which was update number two, because I didn't use it really between starting and update number one. And here I am now. I really like this stuff, but somebody just sent me another one. I got one in swap. Um, I do quite a bit of swapping and somebody just sent me another one. So I'm happy because when this is gone, I don't have to spend $55 to buy another one. <laughs> All right. Next was this Harvey Prince Hello perfume. As you can see, it's completely empty. It started right about here. And now it's gone. So this is going into the empties. Um, this was kind of like not my favorite thing, but I will talk about that in the empties video. So this is not going to appear in any more of the updates because it's completely empty. So it's going into my empties for my 
um, empties videos and um, reviews. So this is gone. Empty, empty, empty. A Mankind for Women cologne. Now, I was so intent on using up the Hardy Prince, which I managed to do, um, that I didn't use this very often. I can't see using cologne as room spray. I know some people do. Um, I don't. But anyway, this is right in pretty much the same place it was with the last update. So this, I do expect, will be down tremendously because now it is the one and only that I'll be using for cologne. All right, next was the NYC powder. Now, I did put a powder puff in here, um, really because I wanted to see what kind of coverage can I get with a puff that I'm not getting with a brush and actually a little bit better cover. So um, you can see now that the letters are completely worn off. There was um, an embossed NYC across the front here and they're gone. So I am, yeah, I really can't see any, even a shadow of a letter there. Um, so I've made like really great progress and I expect this will probably be gone by Halloween. The next thing I had was this Elizabeth Arden blush. <laughs> I have been using it, honestly, you just can't tell. It doesn't take a lot, um, so that's probably why. It's very intense color, so you have to use a light hand with this. All right, the next thing was my L'Oreal blush and highlighter set. And you can see there's a little bit of a dip, but that's about it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this by Halloween. I like it enough, and I'm not going to buy it again. But, you know, and for that reason, I like it and I'm not going to repurchase. I think I'll move it into the 16 by 2016 box when this challenge is over on October 31st. Next thing, and this actually shows quite a bit of pan, <laughs> is the Milani foundation. Now, you can see I've used quite a bit of this. I don't use the sponge, even though I replaced it with a new one. It goes on so much better with a foundation brush. Um, and then I use a buffing brush to kind of blend it out. It looks pretty good. So yeah, I um, think this will definitely be gone by Halloween. Now what I tried to use with that, and is also coming out of this challenge, was this um, NYC. I actually crossed it off the list, as you can see. <laughs> um, this stuff, I tried it with another foundation, and it also made the other foundation look all peely and bubbly and funny. So I'm definitely going to put this in my empties video, even though it's not empty, but I'm going to talk about it and give a review for it because honestly I don't think this stuff is very good. It's just as well because NYC is not cruelty free. Next thing I had was the concealer and you can see where the line was. I have used this. It's just really hard to tell. So these things last for a while. Hopefully I can get this done by Halloween. It's the only concealer I've been using, even though I really have dark circles that need a little more coverage than this gives. Um, but this is the only one I've been using in the interest of using it up, and I won't be repurchasing that. I can't see through this tube anymore, because now that I'm down here, it's really hard to tell. But I have been using my Milani Eye Primer, just suffice to say that I have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you remember these pencils? Well, I did measure them. These have been sharpened. I will talk first about the Lord and Barry pencil. Well, it looks like I only measured the longer of the two pencils. Um, this Lord and Barry pencil is like super small. Ooh. I was able to sharpen it. It does go on like pretty smooth and I really like it. Like, I think I would purchase this, um, but this is probably not going to have much left in it because I know at some point these go down to just wood. 
so it's hard to tell when that happens on here because there's no marking but um, as soon as it hits the cap I know that it's going to be completely gone. It started out small as it is. Now this started out big. <laughs> this was a disaster, a flaming disaster. You can see this is for the brown um, pencil and this is where it is now. So I'll tell you what happened. This is such an old pencil. It's so old that when I went to sharpen it, now it's fine and it's down to soft, but when I went to sharpen it, it just kept flaking out so that there was like nothing there but the wood. And I really thought that maybe the eyeliner itself I thought was gone. So I figured, let me just try one more time. And I did manage to sharpen it to a very nice point so I can actually finish using it. I'm um, not sure I'm going to be able to sharpen it again. So because this is such an old pencil, um, like some of my Elizabeth Arden stuff is the oldest stuff I have and this is Elizabeth Arden. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a bit gone. Yeah, it's really something, but this was a really pretty brown. All right, next is the eyeshadows. Now, this one I have been using tons, but it's just taking forever. Pan here, um, I can't get any more out of the corners. I have serious pan here. It's a nice basic color, but when your eyes are bloodshot, it doesn't suit you very well. <laughs> So I'm not wearing this right now. Um, and I've got quite a, a real heavy dip here in this one. This one will not be done by the end of the challenge, the dark one. And I'm okay with that because I really don't wear that. And I have the e.l.f. quad, which I'm in love with. It's actually what I have on today. Um, the lightest color is, um, is like... Um, ready to hit pan on that one I you know it's just like a matter of like I'm gonna hit pan I know I am um, and this one also now these two darker colors of these two I use this one the most so I'm pretty sure that by Halloween I may hit pan on at least two if not three of these but I'm not dying to use this up because I absolutely love it and I don't see it on elf's website so I'm a little bit afraid I've fallen in love with the eyeshadow colors that I'm not going to be able to get again. Oh, which is pretty painful. I'm also using this Voluminous. I notice it's starting to like not have as much coming out on the brush. Um, there's always some coming out on the end, but I notice that the brush is starting to like be almost dry when it comes out. So I don't know how much is left, but on Halloween this will go in the trash just even for safety reasons and finally this is an item that I'm going to probably take out of this challenge this little tiny nail polish don't fear the minis because they last forever um, this I used exclusively on my nails for about three weeks and one update I can't remember if it was the first update or the second update, um, I managed to get down to there, and now I am down to there. This is polishing my nails for like three weeks with the same color, which gets kind of boring, especially when you have that many colors and so much to try. So this, I believe, I am going to take out of this challenge. Um, well, these samples, like I said, I'm going to probably use these closer to the end. The purple will probably be Halloween color. And lastly, I have the three lipsticks. Now, these crayons from Ulta are definitely lipstick consistency. And um, I have, I believe, finally made some progress. I'll start with the shortest one, which is the Lip Fusion. This popped right out and I had to reposition it back in place. You can see it's kind of broken and it's not, um, not great, this stuff. I'm not, I'm really not wild about it. And 
it looks like I've used like hardly anything at all, but it's actually like to there. It's really hard to see. Um, but I do plan to use this up. This has like a weird minty menthol -y kind of feel. The next one, I'm going to go with this Ulta stick and I have used this a lot. I love this. <laughs> and you can see a little bit there. It's not a lot. It's only like, you know, a little, maybe, what is that? A half an inch? No, not even a half an inch, quarter of an inch. Um, difference so these last forever man I'm telling you um, and finally the Elizabeth Arden lipstick I love this I've used this quite a bit and you can see there is about the same difference as there was with the other lipsticks about, what is that about a quarter to a half an inch this one's old down a little bit more than the others are so thank you for watching this has been Mary with reviewers diary and have a beautiful evening good night